Hi guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I have an unboxing to do. Uh, this is two diamond paintings I brought from Royal Diamond Painting. They had a 40% off sale, um, all up including shipping. I, it cost me 117 US saved about $71.20 um, if I actually look at it in Aussie dollars um, I had a I say well this actually cost me a hundred and approximately a hundred and seventy one Australian dollars um, that includes shipping and I had a discount of a hundred and three so this could have cost me about two hundred and seventy for $275 so 40% discount is pretty good um, what else can I say about it I ordered it on the 22nd of September they shipped it on the 29th which is seven days later and then it arrived on the first which is five days so it took what 12 days to get to me um, and that include the fact that we had a public holiday it probably would have arrived a day earlier if we didn't have a public holiday but let's get into this so there's two diamond paintings in here what do we got what did I get um, a <laughs> okay me being me not a little one <laughs> no little ones in here this is a oh I've got a square and a round that's okay I'll give I've yeah I'm still not a hundred percent back to use it doing squares just I think I'm finding rounds are so much quicker that's probably what it is okay hang on let's we go I need to put the box that side I've got my cup of coffee right there <laughs> and I don't want to spill it okay so two diamond paintings in here um, one is Anubis and one is Geisha so you would have seen on the thumbnails you would have seen them so there's one there's two <laughs> got two in there and here is the drills one lot of drills and another lot of drills and took it and the box is empty okay so the tweezers on one of the toolkits which would be for the square has come out of the bottom come out of the bottom of the bag I like this it's nice this is nice if yes it's come out of the bag but I do like these bags these um these bags are a lot more costly than uh, others so okie dokie let's get this out basically wax standard tray and some baggies it does have the four placer drill tip and a single tip now the other one yet again squashed one tray but two drill pens with the four placer and a bigger wax and that would be for the round because it didn't have the tweezers okay let's put those aside I suppose I'll go with the oh look <laughs> I think that's 310 <laughs> um, okay let's go with I suppose I'll let's how about I unravel these and we see how we go just now that's not the clear tape this is um, skinny masking tape this is great tape I love this this tape this tape comes off so much easier and clear sticky tape I have an issue with masking tape although yeah it sticks to me I don't mind the feeling of masking tape okay come on there we go go around that way right so these are in the bin with that it's on a foam roller this believe it or not this is only the second time maybe third I think maybe even possibly a third time that I have received a diamond painting on a foam roller 
So how's that? So this one is Anubis. And okay, I don't know whether we're going to focus on that picture. There we go. And the other one is the geisha. So she is. Come on. I can't keep my hands still for it because I'm balancing it up so high. Uh... No, it's still not happening. Um, okay, so Anubis, I'm going to unravel these. Just to get them to relax. So that's one. The geisha has only got one bit of tape on it. Oops, I just ripped the canvas. <laughs> That's all good though. Uh, okay, so the Anubis was... Can't see the size. 40 by 95. Whereas the Geisha is a 50 by 135. I've actually got a gap there. So anyway, doesn't matter. Let's unravel and get this to relax. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's a lot of canvas. And uh, foam roller. Yay! Okay, so while these sit and relax a bit, I'm just going to put those to the side. I am going to go through both lots of drills. I do like the way that... Oh, heck, there's some colours in there. Um, I do like the way that they've actually taped. So there's two bags of drills for each. And I do like the fact that they've taped them both so that there's no mistake in which one they belong to. And the funny thing is, the geisha, they used one tape for on, the, on her. So there's only one piece of tape on the geisha, yet there was two on Anubis. So... That's even, I don't know that whether that was accidental, but very um, well done. Okay, so let's just break this tape open. And what have we got in here? Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, almost looks like one bag for three tens. <laughs> Not quite. And that's actually interesting. See the difference? This one has got all the little bags in it. This one has its own individual bags. So that's different. Same company, packing them up the same way, packing them up differently. But inventory sheets on both. Do, do, do. Here we go. I will go through this process, I will speed this process up for you, but let's have a look at, holy cow, now, <laughs> um, okay, oh that's right, um, um, okay, hang on, the Anubis, Radio. Being the 40 by 95, these guys actually have on their website um, how many colours the size has. So a 40 by 95 has 59 colours. Um, so I am going to love this. Yes, it is confetti, but we'll see what those symbols do to me. Um, we'll have a look at what, just bear with me. Capital E, oh, okay. 
oh that might not be too bad one of the things I look at is so if you look here hide my finger now capital E when it comes up it's a blue there we go if we go down capital F is also a blue um, if E's and F's can be a struggle but okay so if you can see the E you can see the F they're even pretty close in color so you need to be aware of those but what I will say in relation to that though is have you ever wondered why they say diamond paintings beginner intermediate and advanced you've got your beginners are generally your classes your alphabetical and your new numbers or more numbers and then alphabet um, and less colors um, then you've got your intermediate which is still probably at a range of 40 colors um, but it's getting more complex symbols and then you've got the advanced which is generally larger amount of colors so 40 plus colors and you will get colors and symbols very close so you can get there and complain about a company producing symbols that are so similar in color and and um, symbol but if you actually take a step back and ask yourself why companies say beginner intermediate and advanced this is why this is actually what you'd call advanced because there is so many colors and there is symbols that are close to each other same color same lettering or same symbol look um, so just turn around when you look at a diamond painting instead of going oh I wish they wouldn't do that look at it a different way put a positive spin on it instead of being cranky with the company get there with the company and go oh they're producing advanced quality symbols or you know and, and it's a more of a challenge for you um, yes you go your smaller ones you knock them off pretty quickly your larger ones you want to spend that time on it you don't buy a big one just for just to get it done you buy big ones so that you can enjoy the time and the process so um, you know, don't rush your symbols that's a big thing there don't rush um, enjoy the process and that's what it's all about diamond painting is basically you're sitting there you're putting plastic beads onto symbols and producing some beautiful artwork and the more beautiful the artwork you probably find the more complex it is in the background um, you look at the lioness and cub that I do that I'm working on I mean that's that's going to the extreme that's I don't know whether 103 108 colors in what is it about 100 by 70 but it's on a blank canvas you know you've got to look at diamond painting whether it's something you want to do just to get through it or whether it's a process that you want to enjoy um, yes your symbols are the same and it gets frustrating but look at it in the put the positive spin on things don't throw the negative look at the positive don't complain about the company going oh the symbols are so close look at it that the company is giving a, a what's classed as an advanced quality symbol listing so hopefully that helps people look at things slightly differently you know instead of complaining about a company getting their symbol so close together look at it as a challenge um, but yeah anyway this one has 59 colors oh wowie and I have 28 bags of 310 27 bags of 823 <laughs> and 84 bags of 939 so there are your dark colors so it's actually the 939 is going to outweigh the 310s okay so I'm going to stop here I'm going to put on my um, change the program and I'll do this in time lapse and I'll get back to you um, as soon as I've done my count. Audio.
Do you want to know something really funny? I have started to work on this and then went, holy cow. These are actually, look like they've been packed in order. So I'm going to work from the top and see how we go. I do believe these are in order. And in the degree that 152, straight off the top, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. One, two, three, four, five. These are packaged. Yes, the bags aren't like the strips and all of that, but these are packaged and layered in order. Um, I'm taking directly from the top of the pile. Five. One, six, one, three. How brilliant is that? Two, oh, eight. Five. Um, so this is a square. I don't know whether I said that, but it's a square. Two ten. Five. Doesn't that make it a tad easier? Okay, I will um, stop here. I'll speed this up and uh, come back to you. Okay, so that was an interesting process. I had did get an extra bag of 310, an extra bag of 823. I got four extra bags of 939. But you will see that the colour 915, where you can't really see it, they actually have put a label on there. And... The 3328 only requires 248, which is two bags. However, if you actually look at this bag, there is no way could there be even close to 160 or 180 jewels in that bag. So they have provided four bags. Um, actually, hang on a sec. I have some scales here. Um, okay, I'll just, no, that'll stay in there. I'm just going to check something. Okay. I don't know what I've got this set up as. I can't even see, that's why. Hang on a sec, sorry guys. Okay, that's grams. If I look at, so that's three bags, which is approximately 600 trills. Hang on. Let's tear it off. There we go. Okay. Still not going to happen. How about we do that? 45 grams. Okay. 41 grams. So that's where possibly 600 drills there possibly 600 drills there, maybe even less. So there you can, you can actually see by weight that they actually have put in consideration and notice that these bags aren't as full as they should be. Okay, handy little thing to have scales, but then that's to do with resin. Um, so while I put these back in the bag, and unfortunately, they won't be going back in as neat as what they came out. Um, I do want to try and get my bigger colours in first, though. It is possible to get these back in the bags. You've just got to be patient with them. And wiggle them around a bit. And... Okay. So Anubis, <clears throat> everything is there. One thing I did notice, um, when I was looking at the symbols and the colours on here, they are very, very close. 
to the DMC or the colour of the drill. So that's really good. Um, I know some companies when they do their print their canvases, their symbols are, um, yes they are colour coded but they're not always very close. Hang on a sec, crinkle alert. They are not always close to the D, really close to DMC. So I am hoping that when I open the canvas up, yes I will open it up eventually, but I am hoping that when I open this canvas up, it will be very, very true to colour, um, especially that Anubis. Oh, that Anubis has got some beautiful blues um, and a couple of my favourite purples. 333 is got to be one of my favourite purples. Okay, so I am not going to put this away. In, in the bags. I am however, where's the plastic seal? So I have actually written on those Anubis one of two, two of two. Do we want to see the canvas for Anubis? Yeah, might as well do the canvas now. Okay, Knocking things over. So, Anubis is my skinniest one. But, yeah, he's only 95 long. So, uh, that's the bottom. Actually, let's have a look at the back of this canvas. Can you see? There goes my Sharpie pen. Is there anything wrong with this canvas? <laughs> Not a thing. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this around. Oh, where are my pegs? Where are my where are my clips gone? I know I've got some of them are in use already. Hang on a sec, back in a sec. Okay, whoops. Hang on a sec guys, sorry if I'm jostling the uh, microphone. <sighs> Pegs, they do make a big difference when um, unraveling a canvas. And I do have a massive desk. Obviously shows by the fact that I work on my canvases on my desk. But with the craft mat, which is flexible, and with the help of the pegs that I, were discovered purely because a certain Cindy sent me these pegs that I didn't realise you could get. I'd never seen them before. Okay, so Anubis is 95 square. He does go a lot longer. But let's see if we can have a look at the top half of him. The symbols on the side is huge. Not quite sure, you can just about read it from there, but look at how big they are. How clear they are. Oh dear, here we go. You might notice I've actually got a hat on. <laughs> My way of hiding the greys from the camera. It's too far away from me. Hang on, let's get this up. Here we go. I am not much into, it's funny, not much into Egyptian themes. However, I did go to Egypt two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago. Um... So Egyptian mythology is quite interesting. Okay, whoops, I pegged it down. Whoops. There we go. I can start it now. How gorgeous is this? How clear 
is that picture. There is no way of hiding what it is that I'm doing there. So I was going to pick this up. Symbol clarity. If I can hold the camera still and the piece still enough. Um, go away. There we go. Now, smack bang in the middle. There's your E's and your F's. There's an F, F and an E. They're still clear enough to tell the difference. Um, where's another section? Okay, hang on. Here's another section that has the... Where is it? Okay. See the E's and the S? But they're not too bad. Symbol clarity, though, is phenomenal. Brilliant clarity. Yes, the glue goes out the side. That's standard for a double-sided adhesive. Um, and I can see the line down the middle, but I don't... Oh, that, oh, that won't be an issue. And very sticky. Okay, so that is basically the top half of Anubis. <laughs> Wow, he is going to be awesome, especially with so many colours. And um, see how easy that was. I've actually put that down without any issue because I've got it pegged. Okay, because I've got it holding from two sides. Rightio. So I'm just going to now roll that over the edge of my desk and peg him from the bottom. Now he's too big. Um, he will get framed. Um, I wouldn't resin him. This is not, well, I'll say that I wouldn't resin him if I don't have popping drills. So I'll find out about popping drills while I'm doing it. But I've got a strange feeling I'm not going to have any issues with popping drills. Okay, so let's go with the bottom. Oh, crystal clear. Those symbols are crystal clear. Radio. And where's the grab point? Where is it? There's the grab point. And what I mean by grab point, you can tell when you reach the point that you've released it from the other side. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, I'm wrapped with this. Very wrapped with this. Okie dokie. Hang on. Roll this back to the grab point. There we go. And that's the bottom half of him. As a full picture, he is going to look stunning. But there is nothing to do to this canvas at all. So I'm just going to roll this down gently. Yeah. I've watched people struggle with these canvases, putting double-sided tape back down. Um, if you have it on a flat surface, there is no issue. Um, like I've got some air bubbles under there that I've just caused. But there we go. They're gone. Okay, so Anubis. All the colours are there. Canvas is stunning. Um, it's going to, yeah, and a square. So now we can go back and look at that some now. So he's going to be gorgeous. A little bit of frizzing on the end. Once I'm framed, that's not going to be an issue. And the flip side of it. Where is it? Nope. Okay. What I'd do is I'd put a bit of aqua glue on there, I'd just rub it, and that'll hold hold it anyway. But this will go in a frame. So those that bit there will actually 
won't be seen. Okay, so that's Anubis. Drills are there. Um, hang on a sec. Okay, um, for those of you that don't, you know, whether you roll your canvases up or not, one thing, so I'm standing up now, so excuse me for standing up. One thing that I do with my canvases, especially these, this size, um, excuse the head, this will now go hang up in the wardrobe like that till I'm ready to work on it and create the labels. Okay, so I'll just see if I can get the balance there. There we go, I've got it balancing. So Anubis is good to go. I will kit up eventually. <laughs> um, but that's in the one style of packaging. Okay, now the next one is the geisha. So a bit about the geisha. Do, 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 where is it? Anubis and the geisha. I got the geisha as a 50 by 135 which is the second biggest size. It wasn't the biggest. This biggest was a hundred and was so, sorry for 60 by 160. Um, but this should have 60 colours in it. And I can never find those, so let's just. There we go. Now, this is around, and the drills are packaged differently. I'm wondering whether they've packaged these drills differently because they are rounds. They get their rounds, possibly, they get their rounds for a different supplier. So, cost of this one, okay, if I look at this one on their website right now, it is, oh, let's see if I can actually, I'll change it to US because I keep looking at it. Okay, so this on their website right now is $104. I got 40% off. So it only cost me 62. So this is US dollars. Okay, just so I'm just bringing this back to US. And it's round. And we shall have a look at. Oh, I like their bags too. Okay, let's open this up. I can I can see the seal, but I just can't see the edge of it. To there we go. Okay, now I can already see something different to these guys. So if I compare, say, Victoria's Moon, the bag quality. Already I can say the bag quality is different, and I'll show you why. Okay, so this should have, their website says uh, 100, uh, sorry, 50 by 135 will have 60 colours, which, yes, it has 60 colours. Okay. Now, the difference between the two bag, two, okay, the two, you can now see being around, it does have the quantity of drills, right? But it also has the weight and there is a code. And there she is there. But they f do really go out. They give you the quantity. They give you the weight. And then they give you what's on the bag. So that's really cool. Um, so this looks like the... Obviously this is the first... <laughs> first bag. Oh, 310, is, I would expect the 310 to be the biggest, yep. So we're just going to go through these. These will be really quick because these are in bags, so I'm not having to count. I just need to look for numbers. Okay, so these aren't necessarily in number order. Okay. 
I will open both of these up. And so, 50 by 135. So she is really big. Um, she is... <laughs> uh, oops, I got loose drills. Okay. Okay, I've got loose drills, so that's going to be interesting to work out where that comes from. And I think I've already worked it out. I would say those, yep, yeah, that'd be that one. I'm just going to pop that back in the bottom of the bag and pull the rest out. Okay, so 60 bags. I will actually go back to time lapsing this one. You don't need to see this. Okay, all are accounted for. Um, this bag here, I'm just going to empty this. Actually, I'll empty it into a different tray, actually. Mine, I don't think there's many. In, there's not many in the bottom, actually. I'd say that's more than I, I would spill more than what is what was come out of that bag. Okay, so 60 colours, all accounted for. Um, they do look like really nice drills. Now, I haven't opened up any bag, any... Um, I haven't had looked opened up any to look at. However, I've I have cracked open a couple of bags. Obviously that one, and that's static. Um, I did notice bag number twelve also has some interesting bit of static. So as soon as I'm opening these bags up, there seems to be static. So I'll just yep. Okay, so as soon as I open that, bang, I've got static. So. I'd say every single one of these has static. I would put it put it down there. Say, um, one of the things I have discovered is the better quality drills seem to have static. Um, it's the what I've seen so far is really good quality drills have static. I don't know what it is. Or why but it just seems to be that way um, you, know, you can see the static in there but look at the bottoms of those drills there is no divots none my gosh I tell you what just on the quality of what I'm seeing here I would buy from these guys again so let's have a look at the 310. How flat is the bottom of those? Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Okay, I've not seen 310s look that good. I bet you there's a bucket load of static. But up here in the corner, I will try to remember to link my process for dealing with static um, it involves the big tray and a big sheet of dryer um, big piece of dryer sheet um, and it works an absolute treat trust me i've gone through major static before the first time i did it i thought i'd never get used to it second time i did it is when i discovered it because I knew that I brought from from a different from the same company, and I, I was expecting it. But yeah, so all the colours are here. So what's next? I pack these up, and I can have a look at the canvas, which is uh, not quite as tall as me. <laughs> um, this is probably one that would go. Um, on a, I suppose at the end of a, a passageway, a end of a hallway. Okay, okay. Oops. See, I won't put as many in that one. 
there we go and that can go sideways just take that out there we go not putting too much in that one so this is geisha number five one of two okay so I've seen other people unboxing unbagging we yeah, will unboxing royal diamond painting um, for those that I've seen I don't think I've seen a bad unboxing um, I think everybody seems to be happy with them these guys have got are in the higher price bracket um, and what I will say for me um, diamond paintings and where I order them from there is only one store in Aliexpress that I have ordered from and that is Evermoment all other diamond paintings actually no I did order from Wish but then <laughs> I never ordered from them again okay crinkle alert oh, okay and Geisha number five two of two okay um yeah I ordered something from Wish it turned up horrible and wasn't what I ordered okay do you know what I didn't tick them off but I did go through their numbers uh, mind I could, there was no point ticking off for bag sizing so it's just we got 60 bags mm. okay are we ready for this big canvas this is not the longest canvas I've had <laughs> so thankfully it's not scaring me but okay so a little actually a little hint I won't what I have is um, obviously there's a desk under here I'll use this as an example what I do when I'm unrolling just to help you guys understand what how I unroll on the edge of the desk basically I have the canvas on the edge of the desk like that and I pull it that way and basically that part is sitting on my lap under the canvas and the desk helps me roll it out so that's how it just pulls nice and smoothly um, here we go hang on that's what I didn't do back of the canvas of this one yet again beautiful beautiful um, no issue with the canvas oh dear. there was at the bottom yeah that's the bottom of the canvas so let's get the top of the canvas and okay <laughs> I need to stand up for this one without any doubt at all where do we put the pegs okay and here we go might bring this across a little bit there we go that's better just that I want to peg this down but I don't want to peg over that canvas peg over the cake the um over the double sided over the top opaque cover okay geisha number five 50 by 135 round let's have a look at her now she has the umbrella above her whoops okay just peeled up tape oh it takes a little bit oh I've got a little bit of gunk on the end there oh let's have a Jesus. So a little bit of gunk stopped underneath there it's underneath 
I'll lift that up so you can actually see. It's underneath the it's actually underneath the glue between the glue and the canvas, but it's not actually on the on the um 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 hang on. Not on the symbols. Bear with me while I just lean over. And I'm actually gonna cut just above that and we're gonna get rid of that wet that glue. Anyway, I can deal with that later. That's no no biggie. But so this is a round. And colours are very oh not quite true. 310, that is actually coming up as green. So it's not quite true to DMC code. But the effect is gorgeous. Okay. That's just about halfway. Yep. And I'll just slide her onto the desk. Look at that. She is beautiful, but I do have a um, bit of puckering here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause here. You can actually see it. So you can actually see um, here and here and here. You can actually see it. So we're going to deal with that while I've got it like this. Um, but you can see where the glue has lifted pretty hard for me to try and show you this way hang on let's get around this way okay actually there we go you can see where the glue has lifted um, just under her chin there's quite a few spots where the glue has lifted now sometimes I have seen other people where they open it up the back end is perfect you roll it back and this happens um, it's not going to affect the canvas but what I'm going to do is um, for me I see this and all it means is that the glue has lifted yes but what's the best way to treat glue one you can scratch it a lot of people scratch to me I would rather put a hairdryer on it heat the glue up and rub it down and then it's back in play let's see if I can excuse the mess and excuse me if I can turn this um, why is that doing that okay okay just gonna turn her now you see her upright and you see me in my slippers trying to get you to see as much as I possibly can okay I'm not going to pull it back any further um, I'm just going to put this back down whoops I should have gone that side first she's okay but at least you've seen what happens when you lift them up the glue list but let's have a look at these symbols so this is a round let's twist you back again whoops hang on as you can see I have an opening at the back of my <laughs> my desk which is where everything rolls over when I'm working from the top down okay so as a round we well some people on training wheels like them some people don't I'm not that keen on training wheels this has got training wheels but when this focuses see how faint they are and the color of the drill the cut the MC color actually goes out beyond it 
um, paler colours, there we go. So you can see they do have the training wheels on there, the guidance. Look at that air bubble, that'll solve that one. But it's very light, so if you are not very accurate, which I'm not accurate, I am far from accurate with my rounds, um, it won't really show. So I'm just going to roll this over. So 135 centimetres. Do, do, do. That's going to give me a bit of a fair amount of time to do. I have built up my stash again. Ha ha ha. Okay. So straight away I'm lifting this up and I am creating the air. I'm lifting the glue. Okay. I'm not going to lift it any further. I will lift this side up because I have raised that one. But yeah. But that will go... Where is it? Oh, hang on. I've just got to... Oh, yeah. What I've just done is stood this up to make sure it's going to fit in my wardrobe. <laughs> Hanging up. Um, let's grab the other one. And I've got the two here, so I want to put the two together like that. There's no mistaking those two. Once I make the labels, the labels will go into the bags. But this will go and hang up in the wardrobe with the rest of them. Right, there we go. I'll just drop that around the edge. So, there we go. Geisha number five, rounds bagged up. That's one thing I didn't show you. Anubis as well in square. What I didn't show you was the difference in the bags. Where my comment was about the bags. Now, when you get some companies, where are they? When you receive them bagged up, you get them, as an example, with the red stripe or you get them without the red stripe. These bags are better, much easier to open and so much sturdier. For me, if I was going to work out of bags, I've got, it is so much easier to open these with the clear as opposed to opening up the bags that have the red stripe because the red stripe plastic is it's so much thinner it is the, it's just thinner so um, these are my bag this is my plastic bag of preference over these um, I keep hold of these but that's because every time Nathan asks for a plastic bag he gets these he doesn't get my good ones okay so there we go all all good I will kit up later um, oh, I have what have I got kitted up hang on a sec mm. oh no I've got one empty okay I've got one craft mates empty oh which one do I kit up hmm <laughs> Or don't I kit up these and I go and kit up something else. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, this is, yeah, um, yet again, me building my stash. I've got to do it. Got to do it. Um, I got to the point where I had no diamond paintings in my stash that I hadn't started. So basically once I kit something up, I will work through it. And now I've got, I've actually got the round tubes. I've got two of the Craftmates lockables. I have the, well, I've got the Elizabeth Ward storage, but I'm using that for the 
lioness and cub. I've got my round bottled 60 container and then I've got one uh, the Harbour Freight. So um, I think that's it that I've got. They're the ones that have got kitted up. So um, I do have my one Craftmates lockable which isn't kitted up, isn't in use. So it looks like I'm going to have to kit something up. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more stuff coming your way. Um, yes, I'm working on resin. I'm working on cover minders. I'm working a couple of different things in relation to the cover minders and the resin. I have filmed some, but the filming is horrible. So um, I'm... I've been actually watching some other YouTubers working with resin and trying to work out how to film so you can see that better. Um, and if if I can manage to get it look respectable, then um, you will see resin work on smaller items um, come up on my channel. But yeah, for now, I will thank you guys for watching. Please, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. The links for these will be below. Um, I took advantage of a 40% sale. Um, I saw somebody put it up saying that it was there. I saw a Facebook post or something and someone saying it was there. So I went bang, I went and had a look. Um, but yeah, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you like. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a comment. If I was to do one of these two, if I was to kit one of these two up, here we go. One of these two was kitted up. Which one would you prefer me to kit up? So either Anubis or Geisha. Take your pick and I will kit the next one up. Next one that I kit up will be one of these two. There we go. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You'll get some interesting stuff coming up. And um, remember to hit that little bell so that then you'll get notified of when I do go live, which will be, I'm starting to do lives now. Um, but you get notified when I'm going live and you will get notified of all my uploads which tend to have little hidden messages inside them of offerings to um, those of my subscribers that um, actually do stay tuned and uh, those of you that have watched my YouTube channel for a while know that it takes me forever to say bye but um, and to end a video so here we go I'm going to end it now and uh, Thank you guys for watching and bye for now.